over the fast half century scientists have shaved silicon films down to just a wisp of atoms in pursuit of smaller faster electronics for the next set of breakthrough though they will need novel ways to build even tinier and more powerful devices in a study published in nature U Chicago and Cornell University researchers describe an innovative method to make stacks of semiconductors just a few atoms thick. The technique offers scientists and engineers a simple cost-effective method to make thin uniform layers of these materials which could expand capabilities for devices from solar cells to cell phones. Stacking thin layers of materials uh, offers a range of possibilities for making electronic devices with unique properties. But manufacturing such films is a delicate process with little room for error. To understand the scale of the problem, imagine trying to lay down a flat sheet of plastic wrap the size of Chicago without getting any air bubbles in it. When the material itself is just atom thick, every little stay atom is a problem. Today these layers are grown instead of stacking them on top of one another but that means the bottom layers have to be subjected to harsh growth conditions such as high temperatures while the new ones are added a process that limits the materials with which to make them the research team instead made the films individually then they put them into a vacuum peeled them off and stuck them to one another like post it notes This allowed the scientists to make films that were connected with weak bonds instead of stronger covalent bonds interfering less with the perfect surfaces between the layers. The method opens up a myriad of possibilities for such films. They can be made on top of water or plastics. They can be made to detach by dipping them into water and they can be curved or patterned with an iron beam. Researchers are exploring the full range of what can be done with the method which they said is simple and cost effective. They expect this new method to accelerate the discovery of novel materials as well as enabling large scale manufacturing.